Okay, I thought I'd do an updated video just to uh, show everybody my uh, my system that I'm using now. I think on my last video I had six batteries and I added two more, so now I have eight of these 220 amp hour six volt golf cart batteries. They're all hooked in series and parallel, which uh, they're hooked in series with these number two gauge battery cables, which are really nice big cables. Uh, and the, each bank of two is hooked into parallel to the other two, the positives there, the negatives back there, by these number four gauge starter cables. What I do is screw the battery terminal off, put it positive to positive and negative to negative, and keep going until you build up the amperage that you want. Uh, also, another thing that I did, I changed. What I was doing is I was running the inverter directly from my charge controller last time, and I changed that. Uh, uh, a couple of uh, nice, smart people gave me some advice. And now I got these 300 amp cables that are running directly from my inverter. Uh, and you can see the positive one goes around and it goes directly to the battery. So now I'm running the inverter directly from my battery bank and it works out a lot better. I also changed a couple of things. I changed my wiring a little bit. What I did is I just put some regular old 12-2 wire. I put a plug end on it. See, this just, this just unplugs and it's just a normal plug end so I can plug it into the inverter. This one wraps around and then powers the front of my house. This plug, same as last time, goes up to this box. Last time I had two regular 110 house outlets on here, but I never used uh, all the, the four outlets. So I took one out and I changed it to a regular switchable outlet, and it's just, just a switch. When the inverter's on, this one's always energized. But this uh, switches off, this wire goes to the back of my house to power the back of my house and I can switch on the entire back of the house and switch off the entire back of the house when I don't want to energize the back of the house. I normally run about three or 400 watts at a time just for lights and a uh, 19-inch uh, color TV in the back. Uh, so this, I'm not maxing out this system in any way. Nothing ever gets warm, uh, and it, it works perfectly. What happens is uh, it, it, I am in central Florida, and it gets pretty hot. It also gets kind of cool in the uh, in the winter time so the, you can see these batteries aren't sitting on the concrete floor they're sitting on plywood that uh, kind of insulates them from the concrete floor and I also have I cut a piece of normal drywall and I sandwiched it between the batteries and the and the uh, the block wall just to insulate these batteries because it's important that you you insulate your batteries to have them uh, for optimal performance so now I got eight batteries uh, and uh, they're, all, they're all being charged by this charge controller. My, my wire comes out of the panels down to this bus. It's an open terminal, but I really don't use it for anything, so I'm going to be eliminating it in a couple of days, and I'm going to be running this wire right back down and going right into the charge controller. And you can see my charge controller is charging nicely. My batteries are at 13.2 volts right now. And this is solid core number 10 AWG wire, and it comes down, and it, it's, it, it runs out and charges my batteries. Now I'll go show you the new. Uh, I'll go show you the new panels that I got. Okay, these are two um, 70 watt uh, mono crystalline or polycrystalline panels, whatever they are, that I got off of eBay, uh, and they run about uh, just about four amps a piece, like 3.93 amps a piece. So. If it's a nice cool day in the wintertime, I, I can get a little bit higher rated out of them. I can get about 8 amps. And all I did was I just made a frame at an inch and a half inch angle iron. And this is, that was very easy to do, and there's a, there's a middle support in it. I just bolted the frame together. You bolt the panels to the frame, and that, that, they're on there solid as a rock. The panels come with these lockable uh, plug-in MC4 connectors, so uh, making the connections is a breeze. These are laying pretty flat right now. Uh, this is my summer position. My winter position, uh, in about another three weeks, I'll put them so they're oriented like that instead of flat. And that'll be you know, orient them more into the direct sunlight for the wintertime position. So there's my upgraded system. Thanks.